Alright, so in this video I'm going to teach you how to make a GUI that can display different statistics for the player. So, for example, money, how much money they have, or what level they are. So, the first thing we're going to do is make sure that we have a st statistic to display. So, if you've already got leader stats in your game, then that's fine. But if you don't, what we're going to do is, in Service Script Service, just make a quick script. I'm not even going to change the name, I'm just going to say it's game.players.player added colon connect function and then take the player object and then I'm just going to make a leader stats folder so local leader stats equals instance.new folder and then set the name so leader stats.name equals leader stats like that and then leader stats.parent so that's a player and now we're just going to make a cache value itself so I'll just say local cache equals instance.new and then int value and then cache.name set equal to cache and cache dot parent and put it in leader stats and then i'm just going to say cache dot value equals 100. so now if i just test that quickly so if we play you can see that we've got 100 cache all right so that's working now we can make the gui itself so in the start of the gui here we're just going to add a screen gui and i'm just going to turn on ignore gui insert and then i'm going to call it display stat and then in this i'm just going to add a text label and I'm going to make the size 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.0. I'm going to set the background transparency to 1. Turn on text scaled. And make this bold. And then I'm also going to turn text X alignment to left. And then I'm just going to drag this to the middle. And now I'm just going to make this say 0 cache. It's so a default text. So 0 cache. And now in here I can make a local script. So this script uh, we're going to use to actually update this so it says exactly how much cash we've got. So the first thing I'm going to do is say local player equals game.players.localplayer. And then we're going to make it wait for leader stats to be a folder. So we're going to say repeat wait until player, colon find first child, leader stats. Uh, so it's waiting until the leader stats folder is created. And then we're going to say repeat wait until player dot Leader stats, colon find, first child, and then the name of whatever statistic you're trying to display. So for me, that's cash. So what this is going to do is just make sure we're waiting until the player actually has these values. And now we're just going to make a function to update our text. So what we're going to do is we're going to say function, update, and a pair of brackets. And then we're going to say local new value. And we're going to set that equal to player.leader stats. And then whatever the value is called. So for me, it's dot cash and then dot value. And now what we're going to do is just update this text label. So we'll just say script.parent.text. I'll say equals. And then new value. But we need to convert it to a string. So put it in two string. A pair of brackets. And say new value. And then two dots. And then we're going to add whatever you want to the end of that. So I'm just going to say cache. And now what I can do is I'm just going to call this function once at the start of the script. So it'll update it as soon as this script runs to load whatever the first value is. And now we want it to update each time the cache changes. So how we can do that is we're going to say the player dot leader stats dot whatever your statistic is so mine's cash and then dot changed colon connect function so this fires every time it's changed oh, and then I'm just going to say update and then a pair of brackets so now when we play the game you can see that it says I've got 100 cash and then if I go to the server and change my cash value to 500 you can see that it updates to 500 cash. So that's how you make a display GUI for statistics in Roblox Studio. Uh, if you found this helpful, then please subscribe. Anyways, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.